Hi, I'm Paul from Tradco. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a rebated tube latch in a set of double doors. Tube latches are the most common method of door operation and are generally installed on internal doors that don't need to be locked. Rebated tube latches are used when you have double doors with one closing onto another. A common example of this is French doors, which are often rebated. Rebated doors create a seamless look with no gap between the doors and help in reducing drafts. Rebated double doors have a lip on the vertical edge where they meet. This is called a rebated meeting style. Rebated doors incorporate a primary door, which can open and close without affecting the secondary door. If the secondary door is opened, it needs to close fully into the frame before the primary door. Tradco provide a range of tube latches with faceplate finishes to match our entire door furniture range. For the purpose of this video, we will be using a tube latch with a 60mm back set. To help you determine the correct tube latch for your application, please head to our website and visit our guides and catalogues page. Any of our tube latches can be used on rebated doors by purchasing a rebate kit. This consists of an extra face plate and stripe plate that we provide in our entire range of finishes to match your door furniture. Before we begin, please make sure you have downloaded and printed the appropriate tube latch template from our website. Always make sure that your template has printed truly by using a ruler to check that it scales correctly. For this project, you will need the following equipment. Your Tradco tube latch, the rebate kit including faceplate, stripe plate and screws, your template, a tape measure and pencil, a power drill, a selection of spade and timber drill bits, some tape, a screwdriver, adjustable carpenter square, chisels, a hammer, Stanley knife, and your door wedges. To begin, place your wedges under the primary door to keep it steady while working. Mark the edge of your door at the desired height for your door lever or knob. This is generally around waist height or in the centre of the lock rail for a panel door. It is a good idea to match the height of other door furniture in the room. Make sure to mark both the lip and the rebated section of the door edge. To determine the horizontal location of your faceplate, measure the external dimension of the lip edge to the bend of the faceplate and transcribe this distance on the lip of the rebate. With Tradco hardware rebated faceplates, this distance should be approximately 12 to 13 mil. Now, take your faceplate and line up the centre of the latch tongue hole with your height mark, and mark the top and bottom of the plate with a pencil. Now score your marks with a Stanley knife. Now line up the side profile of your template and fix with tape. Do not fix the template to the inner edge or your spindle hole will not line up correctly. With a 2mm drill bit, mark all of the drill marks and elements of the template. You can now remove your template. Proceed to chisel out the faceplate rebate. Note that the rebate on the lip should extend the full depth of the lip to the lower edge. Be very careful when chiselling near the door edge as it is very easy to split the door. Take out small amounts at a time to avoid this from happening. Once completed, place the faceplate in the rebate and mark the inner edge of the faceplate with a pencil. Now chisel out the lower faceplate rebate. This should be approximately 2-3mm to three mil deep in order for the faceplate to sit flush. Please take caution, as this step will be difficult to undo if the rebate is too deep. It is always better to chisel out a shallower rebate and make minor adjustments until the correct depth is reached. Once again, be very careful when chiseling near the door edge, as it is very easy to split the door. We recommend you take out small amounts at a time. Once the rebate is complete, place the faceplate in the cavity and mark the centre of the latch tongue hole. This will determine the location of your tube latch. Also mark the drill holes. 
Now select the 25mm spade bit, which should be slightly wider than the tube latch body to ensure a comfortable fit within the door cavity. To ensure you drill the correct depth, line the drill bit up against the tube latch body and mark the depth on the drill bit with a pencil. Wrap a piece of tape around the drill bit in line with the pencil mark. Continue to drill a 25mm hole in line with your mark making sure you only drill to the depth of the tape on the drill bit. Drill until flush with the outer edge. Now check if the tube latch fits. If required, make minor adjustments until it fits comfortably in the cavity. Now select an 18mm spade bit for the spindle hole. Place the spade bit in your pre-drilled hole and drill one side at a time. Drill approximately halfway through the door. Now drill from the other side of the door to complete the spindle hole. Finally, place the tube latch in the cavity, ensuring that the beveled edge of the latch tongue is facing the door frame. Using the spindle supplied with your door furniture, check that it slides freely through the tube latch and is level. Pre-drill screw holes and fix in place with the wood screws by hand using a screwdriver. Now to install your rebated strike plate. For the purpose of installing the strike plate, we have installed a Victorian lever on rows in satin chrome. For detailed instructions on fitting your door furniture, please find the appropriate video on our YouTube channel. Firstly, close the primary door against the secondary door so that the latch tongue is resting on the outer edge. Mark from the primary door to the secondary door and square around to the edge. Be sure to square around all edges as you will need this reference point later. Now you need to measure the depth of the face plate from the outside of the door using your carpenter's square. With a Stanley knife, score this distance onto the secondary door. Once the edges are marked, you can chisel out the strike plate rebate. As with the face plate on the primary door, the rebate on the lip should extend the full depth of the lip to the lower edge. Again, when chiseling near the edge of the door, Take care as it is very easy to split the door. Place your strike plate in the rebate and mark the centre of the latch tongue hole. Now using a 22mm spade bit, drill a hole at least 15mm deep so there is enough room for the latch tongue. Once you have done this, continue to chisel the lower edge rebate to a depth of 2 or 3mm so that the strike plate sits flush. Once completed, pre-drill and fix the strike plate in place with the wood screws by hand using a screwdriver. Finally, check that the latch operates correctly and the door opens and closes freely. If you would like a uniform look to your rebated doors, we recommend installing a dummy set on the secondary door. For this, you will need another door furniture set and two of our Taylor spindles. We also stock a large range of regular and locking flush, surface, barrel, panic and tower bolts to keep your double doors in place. And these can all be viewed on our website. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.